Every year, the Alden Kindred of America gets together for a family reunion of sorts at the Alden House in Duxbury. They've been doing it now for 114 years. A little rain this year didn't stop people from coming as far away as South Dakota and Missouri to attend this year's gala event. PCN showed up to get the details. Saturday, August 2nd marked the 114th annual reunion of the Alden Kindred of America. The Alden House, designated a National Historic Landmark by the United States government, was the ancestral home of John and Priscilla Alden, started by their son in 1670 and has stayed in the family until the 1920s. Everyone in attendance has some tie to the family, either through lineage or a thorough interest in the family that came over on the Mayflower so long ago. I am here today and I was pointed out as being the oldest member here, 90 years old. <laughs> the afternoon's festivities were met with a light rain, but it wasn't enough to deter people coming from far and wide to the Alden reunion. Well, people come from quite a distance um, at times here, as far away as South Dakota today, um, California, Alaska. Uh, that's the thing about the Alden family. They're scattered all over the U.S. So, you know, you name it, anywhere in the U.S. they're coming, not just for this reunion, but just to visit the house. I uh, came out here with my father last year, but we were too late for the family reunion. Uh, so this year I made a point to come out for the family reunion to meet Alden cousins and to learn how the Alden family has maintained this area and this property for a long, long time. This was well worth the journey. It took me a couple of days to get out here, stayed overnight somewhere in New York of all places. Uh, and it's just a great time. I'm meeting some very interesting people. Catherine Dimincescu is a local author who came in from Concord, Massachusetts to showcase her book, which examines her own early American colonial roots. This is the second time that I have attended the Alden reunion. I'm in Alden via the youngest of the Alden children. There were 10 of them. I come from David. And my Alden ancestors were only here for the first couple of generations. They end up going to Stonington, Connecticut. So I'm here both to learn more about my heritage, connect with Alden cousins, and just to get the feeling of what it's like to be part of a house museum. Because this is our nation's history, and so it's wonderful to involve the local community, involve family members, and also involve my book as well. Um, so we're proud Alden, who's a literary Alden, like Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. So here I am. So it's really a very living and breathing place where you know a lot of the people that are here today, they have a personal connection to it. Former Connecticut Secretary of State Pauline Kieser is the newly installed president of the Alden Kindred of America. She's also 10 generations away from John and Priscilla Alden. Kieser has some lofty expectations for future endeavors for her group. We're a National Historic Landmark, and uh, we're coming up in six years on 2020, which is the 400th anniversary of the landing of the Mayflower, and we want to be a player in that big celebration. We're a small museum, a small organization in that sense, but there's a lot of room for growth, and that's exactly what I would like to do as president of this organization, is in, grow the membership and grow the financial support. Reporting from the Alden House in Duxbury, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.